behind me, 2008 Toyota RAV4. We're gonna be replacing the front brake pads and rotors. This is a relatively easy DIY repair. I have a link to all the tools and parts in the description. Let's get started. Once we have it jacked up with the tire off, we're gonna turn the wheel so we can get better access to our back bolts. Now we'll take a flathead screwdriver, put it in between the caliper and our brake rotor, and we'll pull in this direction. That'll push our caliper piston back. There we go. That gets the caliper piston pushed in about 95% of the way. Now we can pull off our caliper. We'll have a hook on hand. This will be to suspend our caliper out of the way. These are our 14 millimeter. Loosen up both first. Okay, we'll take our hook, put it in here and hang it. Now we'll pull our pads out. So I like to prep the caliper bracket while it's still on the vehicle. It just holds it in place for me. We'll pop each one of these out. We'll do the top, just pop it out, separate it from the boot, and we'll wanna clean this off really well. Get all that old caliper grease off. Now we'll take a silicone-based caliper grease and we'll reapply. There we go, put it in, twist it while it goes in. Perfect. we will do the bottom one. Okay, clean it off really well. New caliper grease, put it in, give her a twist. Perfect. Start with a screwdriver, we'll pop off our old hardware. There we go. And with a flathead screwdriver, we'll scrape out our channels. Just get any of that old crusty stuff off. These are aluminum, so there shouldn't really be rust, but there will be crust. There we go, we'll do that to the top. We'll do that to the back side. All right, perfect. Now we'll get new hardware from the brake kit and slide it in. Might need to tap it in a little with our screwdriver. Perfect. Now if all you are doing is brake pads, we can go ahead and put on our new pads and reinstall our caliper. You can jump ahead to that part of the video. But I do recommend replacing the rotor as well. You'll get better braking performance and your brakes will last longer. For that, we'll have to pull off our bracket these are 17 millimeter bolts. And again, we'll just crack both of them loose first. These are on there pretty snug. So if you need, you can use a wrench and a hammer, a breaker bar or a long ratchet like I have. I'll buzz them the rest of the way off. Let's set this aside. A rotor may come right off or you may need a little persuasion. Because we're replacing this rotor, you can hit it anywhere you want. But if you're reusing this rotor for some reason, then we don't want to hit on the outside. We want to hit in between our wheel studs. A little vibration, pops it loose, and that's it. We'll clean off our wheel hub the best we can. This is stainless steel, so it shouldn't be too crazy. But there might be just a little crusties. We'll pop off. We can also take a wire brush on a drill to help us out. Now we'll take just a little bit of anti-seize as a rust inhibitor. Doesn't take a lot, just a little. And then we'll rub it around, just coat it with a nice, very thin, light film. As we're spreading it around, we don't want to get it on our wheel studs. Lubricated studs will mess up our wheel torque. If you go to a tire place and they put anti-seize on your wheel studs, wipe it off. Now we'll take our new rotor, douse it with some brake clean. We just want to give it a good wipe. They put a protective coating on it to help it during storage. We just want to wipe that off or we'll get some smoky breaks for a while. There we go. Now we'll put our rotor on. I'm gonna take one lug nut and thread it in the bottom. That'll hold our rotor in place for us. There we go. Just hold it in place so it doesn't wobble on us. We'll put in our caliper bracket. Snug them down. And these are torqued to 72 foot-pounds. Throw on our new brake pads. We'll have to put them in at an angle and give them a little twist. There we go. Put the top in. Perfect. Just like that. All right. That's it. Put on our caliper. We want to make sure that our hose is not twisted. We did not have to push our caliper piston in any further than we did from the beginning. But if you need to push yours in a little further, I have a tool in the description. 
put in our bolts, snug those down. And these are torqued to 25 foot pounds. All right, now we'll go inside, push on the brakes a few times, get our caliper to squeeze on our pads, and then we're ready to put the tire back on and hop over to the other side. All right, there you go. Not too bad. You can have both sides done in about an hour, hour and a half, and save yourself some clams. If you have any questions, comment down below. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.